Oh my God, she is my favorite person in the whole world. Isn't she brilliant? I don't think you'll ever meet somebody who, who, can, who can feel emotion like her mm. in all aspects. You know, she can feel hurt like no other, but she can feel love like no other. Mm. And it's, it's, it's really amazing. I remember when we wrote, I know you did last summer, mm. in the studio with her, just her like, her, her love for what she believed in was just so powerful that it kind of just pushed me to like make an entire album out of inspiration of the one night, you know what I mean? She sat me down to, to watch a take next to her mom. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Sino is her mom's name. And then she finished the take and she came over and introduced herself. And she was like the kindest, yeah. like most yeah. vibrant little thing I'd ever met. Yeah. And, and from that moment forward, I was in love with her. Uh, yeah, that's a normal. <laughs> hey, man, you no, and a favorite singer at the moment. You know, I, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna shout out my girl Camila. Camila is just doing her own thing. Camila Cabello, she's just like killing it, and I'm so proud of her. I love her so much. She's one of the sweetest people I've ever met. I, I'm gonna say she's killing it. I love her stuff right now. Like she is such a hard worker. Like, she she's is just a head down. Like she wears me out. Yeah, dude, <laughs> me too. Like I'm like, how are you? Like she'll be in like Brazil and then like. China and then like at the Africa. same Dude, time all the same time <laughs> how are you all three places but no it's insane how hard she works and how through all of that hard work she remains so humble and so sweet and like funny and like still just like free and it's inspiring because I find myself letting like the business side of the music industry sometimes kind of wear me out and make me kind of like don't eh. do that yeah I know I know it sucks but I, I like but it's good to be around people like her because I see it like somehow she's untouched from it, you know. Do you want to collaborate on a song? Yeah, sure, really. No, it's not. <laughs> she just was there, and I was, and she was nice. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> I love Camila so much. She has a perfect nose. <laughs> she really does. She has a great nose. You have a great nose too. Have you have you heard of this this group? They were on that. They, they were on they were on X Factor. They're basically five girls that can sing a lot. <laughs> Yeah, but they covered they covered one of my tunes and I, I I tweeted it. Yeah, it's really good. That Camilla girl can definitely sing very well, very well. Yeah. I was in the studio yesterday with Camilla Cabello. Why? Right. Um, it's Fifth Harmony. But I have to tell you something. She is so talented. She is like, honestly, I was floored. Like one of the best top line writers I've worked with. Like so such an incredible writer like she just came with everything i was like why am i here like she's crushing it wow. she was so next level like such an honor to work with Death. her uh, cabello from fifth harmony mm -hmm. how did you guys connect on this record um and what was it like working together she has this like this raw talent that could have been amazing 30 years ago 20 years ago 10 years ago and 10 years from now so like she has just like there's something She's a classic voice, like a voice that it will always be. You Through know, all the mean? generations. Uh, oh, yeah, for, of all timeless. the generations. There is no, that's front. My studio is like deep in the middle of Hollywood and not like trendy West Hollywood. It's like just like, you know, Hollywood and Vine, which gets a little sketchy at night. And we were done in the studio at seven. And she was like, I usually like to take a walk like when I'm done in the studio. Can I just walk around here? And me and Ilse looked at each other. We're like, this doesn't sound like a great idea. I was like, maybe if we could walk with you. She was like, cool, yeah, I just like to clear my head. So we were like walking around and like we walked past this restaurant and these kids just like rushed towards the window and they're like, oh, they're like tears coming down their eyes or something and she's like, oh, and she kind of looks across the street and she's like, I wonder what they're looking at. I'm like, I think they're looking at you and they like run out and they're like screaming like, can we, like, can we take a picture? I just thought it was so sweet that she was just so like, like unaware of her own power and like thing that she was just gonna like take a walk around like CD Hollywood at seven on a Friday night and then also had no idea that these like screaming fans were like screaming at her they literally like ran to the window of the restaurant like and she's just like oh I wonder what they're looking at you know she like looked across the street it was cute well she baby C that's been her nickname ever since I met her because she just kind of bounds through life this like endless ball of energy Mila is probably one of the most uh, talented artists I've ever worked with um, in, in more ways than one. I mean, as a songwriter, as a singer, just as a person in general, she is this uh, 
ball of energy that never ever fades seriously yeah, yeah. no honestly yeah. we had 20 minutes of her in the studio and there are two camilas like when you're hanging out with her she's like let's go to disney world and eat jelly beans like and when she's on stage she's literally the smolderingest hottest most like mysterious woman you've ever seen and i think that's what makes her so exciting as a performer because she's so multifaceted and like sometimes with her music she's showing you that sensitive singer songwriter side of her that channels who she is more in person and then sometimes she's like Havana, na, 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 like, you know, siren. So- and Camilla Cabello has the same thing going for her. She, um, she had the huge hit with Havana. We played her new single. I just think she's going to have an amazing year because she's just so gorgeous and so much fun. And she's got a great voice and she has great attitude. And I think 2018 is going to be an amazing year for her. Well, I want to get three tips for you for this year. So would she be one of those tips? Yes, yeah, she is. Have you met her before? Never. 